Hey guys, sorry I'm a little bit late. Um, I said I was gonna hop on here in like an hour or so um, to read the last part of my book and I wanted to share this chapter with you guys, but um, sorry I'm a little bit late. Victor had his back surgery today and um, we just got home not too long ago, so he is resting. He's in a lot of pain, uh, but he's resting and it's over with, so that is a good, a good sign. Um, I'm going to keep this, uh, video a little shorter, obviously, um, compared to my other videos that I've been doing on here recently, but I wanted to give you a little insider look at the final chapter, which is ironically called the final chapter. Um, sorry, I look like a mess today. We had to get up at 5 a, no, 4 a.m. this morning to be at the hospital by 6, so it's been exhausting today, but, um, as you guys know, my book, um, my book has been published and the editing is all finished. I'm just waiting now on the design team to help me with my design concept for the front and back cover. And I apologize. I cannot see comments on here. I don't know why I'm not going to start the video over though. I'll read through them later. Um, but with the editing being done and, um, all of that good stuff. I have taken the time to sit here and read my book as a reader. Um, kind of much just like, you know, if I were to go to Barnes and Noble, pick up this book and read it. So, um, like I explained in my uh, video yesterday, it's been really inspiring and motivating for me to read such words because they just don't seem like I wrote them. It's hard to explain. It's like, yes, I know I wrote this blog and this book and all of these blogs, but it's hard for me to realize that this is my writing. Um, I think that when I wrote them, I never really went back to reread them because a lot of them dealt with some really, really deep, dark rooted struggles and pain. And I didn't want to relive a lot of that. Uh, so reading it now as kind of like a consumer, it's been very interesting. There, there was a time um, not too many nights ago where I told Victor, I read through this this one particular paragraph and I said these editors did a, such a good job <laughs> and he's like why do you say that and so I read him the paragraph and he's like well read to me what you wrote so I can you know compare the two so then I was trying to find the original copy and I was starting to compare the original copy versus what the editor did and I was like there's no changes and I was like oh shit like I wrote that and Victor's like, I knew you did. I just needed to prove it to you because you wouldn't believe me if I told you. So I don't know. It's just really surreal to watch all of this kind of happen and know that it's my story because I find myself reading chapter after chapter in this and saying like, God, whatever this girl just said is so motivating. Like I just, I got so inspired by my own shit. And like, that's, that's the honest truth. I, I kind of wish I was exaggerating, but I'm not. So anyway, Again, I can't read any comments, but I will get through to them in a little bit. Um, I just wanted kind of as a thank you to you guys for sticking with me throughout this journey. I want to I wanna read you guys the final chapter if you'll let me. And if you guys would like to purchase my book, you can go to my link and purchase it. So it's available. And that's really crazy to say. So with that said... Um, I'm not going to keep this video very long, but I'm going to go ahead and read you this final chapter now that I have gotten through every part of this book. And I said it yesterday, and I'll say it again. There's a lot of things that, although I'm very proud of doing in life as far as my accomplishments and achievements, there's just nothing that's ever really stuck out to me that I've been until now. And I full heartedly can sit here you guys that I believe in my my writing and I believe in this book and if you're struggling with anything in life whether it be your depression your mental health anxiety relationship problems abuse you know whatever the case may be career changes love interests family problems the death you know this may be let me try to help you because I want to be your voice okay um please purchase my book, please. We're getting close to 250 sold and I'd love to hit that 250 mark. So here we go. Uh, this, this literally is the final chapter, um, but it is 
this is weird too it's called the final chapter and as i'm looking i dated i dated all of these blogs this one is may 15th of 2020 so what is today <laughs> this is weird june 15th 2020 so lit literally a month ago i finished this and since then we have sold 216 copies and that's just that's just fucking crazy i don't even i don't even understand y'all but I'd like to read this to you. I don't know if I'm going to cry or not because I feel like this book has given me so much growth. And with that growth became something so huge to me. So without further ado, here we go. The final chapter. <sighs> I haven't read this out loud yet. I got to this final chapter and I was like, all right, I'm going to go live. Yes, this is the final chapter, not only of this book, but a part of my life that'll be closing forever. I truly never thought this day would come. Where do I even come up with the words for closure? I'm not sh so sure that I can. This journey you all have been on with me is unlike anything I've ever experienced. People from all over the world have read my blogs every week, watched my live videos via Facebook, binge watched my new my YouTube channel and reached out to me with their struggles. I knew I was out to do big things. I just wasn't sure of the magnitude. It's truly astonishing to me. It's almost as if I myself am reading a book and watching myself grow. Only this time the book is about me and you all are reading it and growing right along the way. I don't think any amount of words can say or begin to say and give you the true thank you that you guys truly deserve. Thank you for giving me this platform and always allowing me to speak my beliefs. Thank you for always letting me vent out my frustrations. And thank you for being the therapy that I truly needed to change my life. I guess in closing, I just want to say a few things. And I need you all to listen very closely. I don't care if you're in a relationship or a marriage for a month, a year, or a decade. If you or someone you know is being treated badly, say something. Do something. And do not ignore the red flags. Get out some way somehow you deserve better you are better your kids deserve better find your worth and make shit happen if you're at a point in your life where you're unhappy even if it doesn't deal with a relationship take the same advice make shit happen and do not stop until it does decide what you want and what's what it's going to take to get you there hey look i know it's not going to be easy if it were easy everyone would do it but you my friend are going to be one of the strong ones you're going to come out to be one of the brave ones. One of the very few who made it through to the final round. I'm almost ready to cry. Yes, friends, you're on your way to winning. I want you to wake up tomorrow morning, make your coffee, and go listen to the birds. Decide, is this the life you want to live? Is this the person you want to love? Is this the best you can be? Is this who you think you are? Now take a deep breath and decide where to go next. It's not going to be easy. It's going to be really fucking hard and I will never deny that or sugarcoat it. There's going to be so many tears. I can't lie to you. And no one really knows if it's going to take a week, a month, a year, or a decade to gain your life back and get your life back on track. But what I will tell you is this. If you decide that you are worth more than what you're giving yourself credit for, nothing will ever stop pushing forward. So in closing, dear brave one, put on your game face. You're now completely to whatever comes your way find that worth and never let it go hold on tight and love yourself more than you've ever loved anyone you're on a journey and this is part of your story i love you all so very much i have so many emotions and goosebumps writing the final words of this book a book that may not ever truly amount to anything but if it helps just one person i will be forever grateful my story is just my story your story is completely unique and probably but one thing is for certain, we can both be strong and I will always be strong for you. One day you will tell your story and everything you've been through will become someone else's survival guide. This is why I do what I do. You only live once, but if you do it right, once is enough. Cheers, friends. It's finally over. If you wanna purchase my book, please go to the website in the caption. We're at 216 books for pre-orders and I'm not stopping. My goal with this book is to help every single person I can. I don't want to make a dime off of this book. I just want to hand out my book to people who are struggling. And I know each and every one of you can relate to something in this book. Please purchase the book to help me out. Um, 
I'm currently jobless. My boyfriend is also jobless due to COVID. And, um, you know, we're just trying to make something of this right now. Thank you guys. I really appreciate everything you've done for this book, everything you've done for me, and everything that you continue to do for this page and so many people who are involved with this page, including every single one of these followers. You all have truly provided a safe haven for so many people. And for that, each and every one of you should just be so proud. Stand tall, stand your ground. Let me know if you need anything. And I love you guys so much.